Gotcha, gotcha. Okay, so um, coach, as we mentioned here, you uh, went to the U. You're on the 2001 national championship team. Uh, did Larry Coker recruit you there? What was the recruitment kind of process like when you? So I was actually recruited by Butch Davis, um, and was was there with Butch Davis for a year. And after that, um, I had Larry Coker for four years. So I was there. Like, if you watch the movie The U Part Two, all the good stuff before. Uh, before all the bad stuff started happening, that was my era. So it was, it was a good time to be there. Um, and, you know, I, I never knew Nevin Shapiro, um, even though if you watch the U part two, I'm running out right behind him in the smoke. And I, I didn't, I didn't know who he was. So, so yeah, so I, I that's, it was, it was the right time to be there. Um, we won 34 straight games at one point. We won a national championship, probably should have won three, um, you know, the, the, my freshman year, uh, the BCS, we had beaten Florida state and Florida state got to play in the national championship game. And then my sophomore year, we lost to Ohio state on probably the most controversial, uh, pass interference penalty ever called in, in college football history. So, so it was actually going to bring out the, uh, uh, championship game against Ohio State. It's a double yeah. classic. You guys, are unfortunately, on the wrong end of that. Just uh, how heartbreaking is that on the field when you go that hard and you get down to the two yard line and then, you know, just three rough plays in a row? Kind of how heartbreaking is that to be a player on the sideline? I think that the hardest part about everything was that we celebrated like we won the game. Like when that, when that pass interference call happened, it was like eight seconds after they blow, blew the play dead. So, like, we were running onto the field with T-shirts in our hands and, and getting excited, and they were bringing out bags of Tostitos chips with the Cecil's Fiesta Bowl. Um, you know, I remember, I remember Sean Taylor threw his helmet as high as he could in the air, and it landed on the ground, and all the, like, pieces flew out of it. So, like, kind of, it kind of uh, still hurts, you know. 